Hello everyone and welcome to our second milestone highlight video. We've been hard at work and completed the next milestone on our road to full release. So we put this video together to show you all the things we've added in the recent weeks. You can now save gear templates to be able to quickly craft items with your favorite look. Save a template by clicking the plus flag in the crafting screen, give it a name and an icon and pick the classes that will be able to buy this template. You can then save your template and easily access it again later by clicking on the corresponding flag to quickly craft a fresh batch of equipment for your heroes. If you are unhappy with one of your templates, you can delete them by first selecting it and then clicking the same flag again after it changed into an X. A prompt will appear and all items that were crafted with this template will have it removed. Vendors now feature the new specialization system. Click on the vendor to open the details panel and choose the specialization tab. From here you can choose perks for your station, which allow you to focus your stations on what will fit your playstyle the best. To change your station specialization, you can buy focus gems from the trader. Using a focus gem at one of your workstations will reset all of its current perks, allowing you to make new choices. You can now access the new compendium by clicking on the icon at the top left of the screen to find more information about the game's systems. Switch between different topics like hero needs, inventory management, quest crafting and more to find detailed explanations and helpful tips to aid you in leading your town to success. You can now send your vendors to restock your production farms for a small fee. Click on the vendor to open the details panel and select the tab with the drop icon to task your vendor to leave his counter and start restocking your farms. If you do not have the resources available for him to finish this task, you will receive a notification and no cost will be deducted. We have introduced a range of new items to place at your different workstations. Your apothecary can now use the leftovers from your regular potion crafting to periodically produce a random potion with the potion distillery. Inspire your heroes while training with the new banner of arms, which grants heroes training in its vicinity a boost to their experience gained. Place the notice board at your inn to inform your heroes of their tasks and increase your daily quest limit. The tanner, tailor and apothecary can now be upgraded with a leather soaking tub, a spinning frame and a compost to provide a passive chance of receiving tier 2 materials from your resource farms. These are some of the highlights of our recent patches. To read up on all the latest changes, you can check our patch notes linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content on a hero's rest.